Hello everybody, this is Joking Giant 74 here to bring you some Modern Warfare 3 advanced gameplay. In this match I went 65 and 18 and uh, I will give you some information on my the weapon that I use. The weapon that I use is P90. It contains the silencer and the range attachments. And for lethal I have a Semtex and for tactical I have a portable radar. And my perks are Slide of Hand Pro. Perk 2 is going to be Assassin Pro and Perk 3 is going to be Stalker Pro. Now the reasons for these three perks, I mean, for example, uh, Set of Hand Pro, I mean, you really you need it because you're gonna be in, in the middle of everybody, and uh, you know you're gonna be in the middle of three people. You need to reload real quick because some weapons take a long time to reload. So I really recommend Set of Hand like for everything, like even for snipers, because snipers take a long time. But like snipers gonna be like 50-50, but like for all weapons it's gonna be like 100%. You really need Set of Hand. You don't you don't really need recon, you know. You don't need blind eye. What do you need blind eye for? You already, you already gonna have Assassin Pro over there in perk two and uh, extreme condition. You can use your own speed. Come on, man. You don't really need to spin that far. And uh, and because all stages are small and scavenger, it's a 50, 50 chance. Like maybe yes, maybe not. But like, it's it's like 100 percent is gonna be sleight of hand because you really need to reload real quick because all weapons take a long time. And for perk two, uh, perk two I really recommend Assassin Pro. Once you get Assassin Pro, you're invisible in the map. They're not going to be able to detect it with any portable radars, regular UAV, any advanced UAV, you know, stuff like that. They're not going to be able to see you. So I really recommend Assassin Pro. Well, you're going to start with Assassin, but once you get Assassin Pro, you're going to be, like, like invisible in the whole field. Blast Shield, maybe, and Quick Draw, you don't really need fast aiming. Come on, you already, you already know how to point the gun. You don't need faster aiming than that. And uh, overkill. This is the one I've been talking about since forever. Overkill. You don't really need two primary weapons. I mean, there's already weapons all over the place in the battlefield, so you don't really, you don't really need overkill. Once you kill somebody, just pick up the weapon real quick in the beginning of the match, or every time you respawn real quick in the beginning. So, so every time you pick up a, a primary weapon as a backup, you don't need to worry about your bullets uh, being finished because you already got a backup weapon being ready for you right there. And what I recommend, like. If you have a submachine gun, I recommend to get an assault rifle for your backup weapon and when you pick up one up. And if you have an assault rifle, I, re I recommend to get a submachine gun as a backup weapon when you're fighting one in the battlefield. So, but uh, don't try to get like two sniper rifles at the same time. It's going to slow you down and you don't want that. Or a light machine gun. Never pick up a light machine gun in the battlefield. You don't really need a light machine gun. All the other guns in the game are better than the light machine guns. So, and it's also going to slow you down if you get a light machine gun. So, you don't really need one. It's, it's, the light machine guns are useless. Like you don't really need them at all, because it's just gonna slow you down. It has terrible aiming and it shakes too much. So yeah, I really re don't recommend like picking up light machine guns. Snipers maybe if you have an assault rifle and a sniper. Well maybe because maybe you're playing like in a long range stage and need one. Uh, like, yeah, I suggest snipers. But it's a machine gun, you just need a, uh, an assault rifle or a sniper. So. So yeah, it's either way on that one. And uh, for the third perk, it's gonna be uh, Stalker Pro. The reason, the reason it's gonna be Stalker Pro, cause when you're moving forward, the the bullets are gonna get there faster, and it's gonna cause more damage. So once you're at Stalker Pro, it's gonna move faster while while aiming. So so the faster you, you're like moving forward, the more more damage you're gonna take away from the enemy. So I really recommend Stalker Pro. I mean, my my brother Dark Raven recommended me this when, uh, like, in the first two weeks of the game. So, uh, cause he, you know, he he's the one who told me about this. Like, Stalker Pro, uh, Stalker is actually a a great perk, better than Marksman. I mean, Marksman identifies enemy targets from a longer range, but I, I recommend using that one for the assault rifles, though. Uh, and uh, or maybe Stalker, cause Stalker is, uh, actually speeds you up and, and while aiming. And uh, you don't really need sit rep. I mean, you, you already have a. Uh, once you have a Stalker Pro, the uh, enemy's claymores are gonna. It's, it's gonna delay, delay the explosion, and even the uh, also the, the little mines and stuff like that. It's gonna delay everything. So you don't really need sit rep. Steady aim, maybe. If you have like a sucky gun, like the, like the PM9 or maybe like the PP90. You know, and uh, maybe the the G36 also, the MK14 or the AK47. I really recommend steady aim because those guns don't really like to point. You know, you know, 
and they always shake and stuff like that. So I really recommend like steady aim just in case you don't want to shoot like in the like in like right in, like in, right in the crosshair. So so I really recommend like for those guns only. But um, so yeah, you don't really re need steady aim. But you know, there's some recommendations. So it's like a like a seventy percent chance. Yes, you really recommend. I really recommend you steady aim. But I hundred percent recommend you stalker pro. Getting stalker and getting stalker pro and dead silence. You already have Assassin Pro. You don't need that silence. I mean, you already signed it, and in silence, why you need that silence? Like, I know there's a lot of noise in the field, but like, really, is there, is there gonna be anybody like listening to the footsteps while playing the Modern Warfare Three? Well, maybe sometimes, but like not all the time. Come on, man. I mean, you don't need to be that silent. You're not. You're not being like. It's not, you're not doing like a ninja mission like in the. In a little temple or anything, it's a huge place. Everybody's running around. Everybody's doing bombs. Nobody has time to hear like footsteps. Only like a little bit, maybe. Like when you're playing like, in a bunker in the in that snowy stage, maybe. Well, not that much. You know, like you don't really need that silence. You already have Assassin Pro. You're already in, you're already invisible. So, so yeah. And the strike and the, the strike package that I use was uh, support, and I have a uh, EMP. Still bomber and advanced UAV. I have that advanced UAV because I used it in Black Ops and it was pretty useful. And uh, the reason I have stealth bomber, you know, I really need some some kill streak that can take away some enemies away from my, from my front, you know, from the front line. And for the EMP, the reason I have it there is because sometimes my uh, teammates from uh, ground war don't even call kill streak, and I really need to give them some time, you know. And uh, you don't want to kill. You don't want to. You don't want to get killed by a, a like a soul helicopter and stuff like that. So I just call in the EMP uh, right after they call in the helicopter or the like a juggernaut or AC-130. Like you call it in, like when when they called in like something big like that. Then after doing that, you're gonna get like your team in some time to call in their own, their own kill streaks and get a lot of kills. I said just like to do this like when I, well, I told you and uh, it's your your gameplay should should increase. A lot better because you're preventing yourself from getting killed and you're preventing others from getting killed and uh, it's gonna gain you a win so yeah I suggest to get the EMP on the support if you use, if you use support if, now if you're using assault I suggest to get the predator missile and uh, maybe the precision airstrike and uh, you know the there's a lot of like at the first time I use a straight run and nobody knows how to like stop it but like but if you equip straight front, it's just like not to use it no more because everybody knows how to take it down. Just shoot a, like a, a small to it and uh, everybody, every single helicopter that's next to the one you hit is going to like fall down. Like This is like a chain reaction. So yeah, I really don't recommend the straight run. The AH, the AH, uh, AH over 6 Overwatch, uh, it's a good one. Yeah, it's personal Overwatch for you, you know. And uh, yeah, I kind of recommend the AH. H6 Overwatch. Uh, I really don't recommend the like the regular helicopter, the attack helicopter, because it, it can easily go down. And um, the Reaper, yeah, it's a good. The Reaper's actually good. You know, I'm surprised they add, they, add, they added that, and um, you know, it's a good kill streak. The assault drone, yeah, yeah, like a 75 percent. Yes, it's a, I really recommend that one. The AC-130 is pretty good. The payload, yeah, it's pretty good. The Juggernaut and assault, also. Like Osprey Gunner, yeah. So everything after strafe run is pretty good. So yeah, don't choose strafe run. Don't cho don't choose attack helicopter, sentry gun maybe. The IMS, yeah. The care package, you know, nobody nobody knows what's gonna you're gonna get in there. So so yeah, the care package is pretty good. And uh, death streak, it could be anything you want. And uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, that's every, that's all everything I think about like every single class and perks and stuff like that. You know, you got my opinion, and you know if you have to hear it, you can like the video, comment the video, and stuff like that. And a uh, little bit of update news, and the clan just we just got off of uh, clan battles and stuff like that. I re I recorded some games, and I'll put a stood up like tomorrow, maybe on Sunday, because uh, you know this it's, it's a lot of matches. We went up up against like two different clans or three different clans, and I had to take one by myself. Cause we disconnected for a while, so yeah, it's gonna be a fun weekend for you guys. Uh, you, the viewers, I'm gonna post up a lot of interesting stuff in the weekend. So yeah, well that's all I have for now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, visit the website for more videos and tips, and visit the Madden All Star forums. I'm post I'm posting tips every day. Just visit the Joking Giant 74 Corner and uh, Modern Warfare 3 YouTube series, 
and it's all in there guys so yeah thank you for your view